Do you know which industries you'd like to go into? There are lots of different jobs, and they're usually grouped with similar jobs into industries. And this can help us to spot trends in the workforce. We can use these trends to work out where the jobs will be in the next few years, so that we can encourage more people to head in that direction, and away from industry sectors that don't need quite so many people. Some jobs in some industries are more popular than others, and this can be a problem when too many people want to work in a small industry, or another large industry can't find enough workers. To help us work out what's going on, we can look at the types of jobs Year 10 students say they want to do. By Year 10, you've got a realistic idea of what's out there, and most Year 10s can align themselves with one or two jobs. But unless they also understand the labour market information, which is what we're talking about in this video, then they may be heading for a pathway which will limit their chances of getting a good job. For example, just under 10% of Year 10 students say they want to work in the arts. This is understandable. The arts is a very popular industry, but the problem is that it only offers around 1.6% of all jobs. This means that around 80% of those Year 10 students who wanted to work in the arts will never get there. On the flip side, just over 1% of Year 10s plan to work in business and finance, but almost 10% of all workers are employed in this field. That means that 9 out of 10 people currently working in business and finance didn't expect to end up there. What does this mean for you? You need to know how many people are working in the industries you're considering and how many more people are going to be needed in that field over the next 5 to 10 years. If you've got your heart set on a competitive pathway, then keep heading in that direction. But if you're not sure and are weighing up your options, then take a look at the labour market information before you make any decisions.